There was never much danger that Brest, with nine straight league defeats, would spoil the party for champions PSG in their final home game of the season. And indeed it took Zlatan Ibrahimovic only five minutes to fire them in front. And David Beckham was named captain for the final game of his professional career and he swung in the corner in the 32nd minute that saw PSG go two up. Blaise Maturidi with his fifth of the season. Ibra is looking to become the first man since Jean-Pierre Papin to score 30 goals in a league on season and he made it 29 with this thundering free kick in the 36th minute. Charles and Benchop did manage a consolation goal for Brest with 10 minutes to go, but by that point the butter was in full swing at Pac de Pass. And there were emotional scenes a minute later as David Beckham was replaced by Ezekiel de Vetsu. The former England captain is not set to feature against Lorient next week, and so was given a rousing send-off by his teammates and the Pac de Pass crowd as his remarkable career drew to a close. And all that were left were the celebrations. Paris Saint-Germain with the third title in their history of the Ligue 1 champions for the 2012-2013 season. Still in the hunt for a Champions League spot, Saint-Etienne took the lead at home to Marseille through captain Loic Perrin after good work from Brandao at the back post. The Brazilian then doubled his signs lead in the 43rd minute, getting ahead of compatriot Lucas Mendes to head in Fauzi Goulam's cross. Sante now just a point behind rivals Leon, who played Nice on Sunday. Lille stumbled in their quest for a Champions League spot as they were held to a goalless draw at the Mosson. Montpellier coach René Girard was given a warm send-off in his last home game after four seasons with the club, including the championship winning campaign last term, but neither side could break the deadlock. A golden chance for Emmanuel Herrera here and another chance for Solomon Kalou at the other end, but it finished 0-0. Lille dropped to fifth, a point behind Saint-Étienne. Evian are all but safe after claiming a 2-0 win at home to Valenciennes. Saber Khalifa, who scored one of the goals of the season against Nice last week, was added again here in only the second minute. A fantastic finish from the Tunisian international for his 13th goal of the season. Khalifa then turned creator in the 12th minute as he skipped up the byline and pulled across for Fabrice Eret, who slotted home his first goal of the season. Evian's goal difference means they're essentially safe then and they can now look forward to the French Cup final against Bordeaux on May the 31st. Ajaxia are also all but safe after drawing with Rennes at the Stade de la Route de Lorient. Vassani Diawara put the Corsican visitors ahead in only the seventh minute. But Mevla Terding equalised for Rennes on the stroke of half-time, enough to rescue a point and to save departing coach Frederic Antonetti the ignominy of a defeat during his last home game in charge. Rask guaranteed their league and survival with a 1-0 home win over Lorient. They took the lead shortly after the half-hour mark from the penalty spot after Diego was brought down by Lamin Gassama. Upstep to Polish international Gregor Skrykowiak to secure all three points for the Champagne Club with his fourth goal of the season. Tua got their own back for Tuesday's French Cup semi-final defeat to Bordeaux with a vital 1-0 win over the Girondins at Stade de Louvre. The only goal of the game came courtesy of Fabian Camus in the 56th minute and it means Tua still have a slim chance of staying in Ligue 1. Well, Sochaux got off to a bad start in their game at home to Toulouse. 19-year-old Ghanaian Isiaga Silla making only his second league on start, but the visitors in front in the 16th minute. Jean-Daniel Akpa Akpro then made it 2-0 only five minutes later after fine work from on-loan PSG midfielder Adrian Rabio. Socho pulled a goal back shortly before half-time through Giovanni Sio, taking advantage of some lax defending, but it finished 2-1, and Socho certainly aren't out of the woods just yet. Nancy, though, became the second team to be relegated from Ligue 1 this season after going down at home to Bastia. Of course, Kinsab went ahead three minutes into the second half through Brazilian forward Ilan. Well, Nancy weren't going to give up without a fight. And Ligue 1's highest scoring central defender, Sebastian Puigrenier, handed them a life on, on the hour mark with his fifth goal of the season. 
But in spite of a series of chances at the other end, Anthony Modest restored Bastia's lead in the 72nd minute with his 15th goal of the season. Nancy head back to League Two. All the results from this 37th day then with Nice and Lyon set to play their postponed fixture on Sunday. Nancy's defeat means they join Brest in League Two, while Saint-Étienne's win over Marseille puts pressure on Lyon in the chase for Europe. Paris are now 10 points clear of Marseille, who are nevertheless guaranteed to finish second. Only three points separate Lyon, Saint-Étienne, Lille and Nice, though a win for Remy Gard's men on Sunday would see them claim third spot. At the other end, Nancy and Brest are gone, and logically, either Twat or Social will join them in League Two. Though Evian and Ajax, who are not mathematically safe, their superior goal difference should be enough to keep them in League 1. The 38th and final day of this League 1 season kicks off at 9pm next Sunday. Whatever happens between Nice and Lyon, the game between Lille and Saint-Étienne will be key for the European places, while Twat and Social both need wins on the road to avoid relegation.